Right. So today we will look at the overview of data driven framework and how do we make data driven framework in Selenium. Basically, a data driven framework as the name suggests is something in which the data is read from the Excel sheet. This is my Excel sheet containing test cases such as registration test, login test, password change test, post add test, quicker link test. And each and every test has got a run mode associated with it. Right? And corresponding to each test, there is a sheet. Okay? A run mode suggests that which test to run and which test not to run. Suppose the run mode for the login test is yes, then Selenium script will only execute the login test and will be reading the data for the login test from the sheet of login test. Right? Now in this sheet, the data for login test is written. It's in multiple rows. That means the login test will be executing as many times as the number of rows in this Excel file. So this is how we basically design a simplest data driven framework. That is you keep the run mode of the test and we keep the sheet for each and every test. We keep data in rows and the test executes as many times as there are number of rows in the sheet. Now let us look at the code. Right? This is the code for the module 18 that is the data driven framework. In this we have the configuration files. First of all let's look at the configuration file. Config.properties. This is holding just test site name and the browser name right now. You can also keep configuration properties such as where do we need to store the screenshots, the path of the screenshots and all everything. Okay. So basically this file will hold all the configurations, the environment which you are testing in, suppose it's the UAT or the SAT or your production environment. Okay. So this is going to keep the configurations. One more file is there, or.properties. This is going to keep the um, X paths. Or dot properties will be keeping the will be keeping the X paths in this so that if the X path changes in the future, we just have to go into this property file and change it. We don't have to go in the Java code and you we don't have to change the uh, X paths in the Java code. Right? Don't hard code the X paths in the code. Suppose one of the X paths, suppose the sign in link X path is used at ten places. And if I directly hard code this link X path at 10 places and if it changes tomorrow, then I'll have to search the code and change it everywhere. Right? So what we do is, we keep it in the properties file. We don't keep it in the Excel file because reading properties file in Java is easier than reading Excel files. Okay? Out here in the data table package, I've kept my XLS reader.java. This file is, as I told you earlier, this file is really responsible. We saw that earlier that this, we use, we can read Excel files with the help of this file, right? In the end, we have to send the mail, the test reports, send mail or Java is the file which will be sending the reports over email that whatever, that what happened during the test, right? This test package, sorry, test.suite one package over here, it holds the Java file, one Java file per test case. You see that we have got these many test cases. So corresponding to every test, I have a Java file which will be executing each and every test, right? Depending on the run mode and all, and we have the, the test data in the corresponding sheets, right? And will be used. This is the build.xml file. And will be used to execute our scripts. Fine. In this file, you have to correctly mention the path of your jar files and all everything. And with the help of this bat file, we execute the framework. When we run this framework with the help of and, the HTML reports are also generated. Okay. And along with that, we also um, end up mailing our reports with the help of send mail dot java. Okay. So that, are, that is a later thing, fine. First we need to know how do we implement these test cases, right? 
we need to have all the annotation methods and all used. Basically, the data provider will be uh, or the parameter annotation function will be using the Excel files and will be, will be getting the data from the Excel files and all everything, right? So let's start with the data driven framework now. I will design this framework from the very scratch. Okay, 